Decade 1, 1926 to 1935. She was born on April 21st at exactly 2.40 a.m. And this is what she looked like at age one. Here, she is seen in a carriage during the Alexander Rose Day in 1928, with nurses selling roses to her and her handlers. During her education years, she never attended school. She had private tutors who taught her constitutional history, law, and French. At four, she welcomed her sister, Princess Margaret, and received her first pony, a Shetland named Peggy, from her grandfather, King George V. She spent her childhood years between Piccadilly in London and at White Lodge in Richmond Park. She became a homeowner when she was just six years old, when the people of Wales gifted her this house in the grounds of Windsor's Royal Lodge. In 1933, she posed for her first portrait. She met her future husband, Philip, son of Prince Andrew of Greece and Denmark, when she was eight. He was 14 at the time. Her love for horses started way young. Here she is riding one at the age of nine. Decade two, 1936 to 1945. Her uncle abdicated the throne to marry American divorcee Wallace Simpson, which saw her father become King George VI and she the heir presumptive. Here, Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret can be seen leaving Westminster Abbey in their matching outfits after a rehearsal for the coronation of their father as King George VI in London on the 6th of May, 1937. She joined the Girl Guides in 1938, later advancing to Sea Ranger, and at only 14, she learned how to shoot a gun. This particular gun was UK former Prime Minister Winston Churchill's Tommy gun. She gave her first public speech when she was 14 years old, addressing the children of the Commonwealth on October 13, 1940, amid World War II. Here, she can be seen on stage dressed as Prince Charming during a royal pantomime at Windsor Castle in December 1941. This is the actual picture of Princess Elizabeth in her Girl Guide uniform registering for war service under the Ministry of Labor's Youth Registration Scheme at 16. Here is another heartwarming photo of her writing at her desk in Windsor Castle in 1943. This year, she became the first and the only woman in the history of the British royal family to serve in the military when she got into the Women's Auxiliary Territorial Service during World War II, where she trained as a mechanic. At 19, she partied incognito with her sister on the streets of London, joining massive crowds celebrating the end of World War II on May 8, 1945, after being granted permission to do so. Decade 3, 1946 to 1955. Now, the death of the Queen has engulfed the whole world with sorrow and sadness. However, that is how the world works, and even as we let this gallant lady go, we will always remember her. That is why we have designed this Long Live the Queen phone wallet case for you, so you can always cherish this strong woman. It is a limited edition phone wallet case with a 20% off limited time offer, and you can get it from the link on the description area when you finish watching this video. It supports 60 plus phone models. Philip proposed to her, and she agreed without contacting her parents. When George VI finally came to know, he only officially approved if they waited to announce the engagement until after her 21st birthday. She got married at just the age of 21 to his distant cousin, Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, on November 20, 1947. A year later, they welcomed the now King Charles III, and here is a sweet photo of the new family taken a year later. At 24, she gave birth to baby number two, Princess Anne, and a year later, she stepped in for her ailing father in a number of state functions, not knowing that he had only one year left to live. She ascended to the throne following the death of her father, King George VI. She received the sad news during a royal tour in Kenya. Her coronation took place the following year, it was the first coronation to be televised. At 28, she completed her longest foreign trip that lasted 168 days from November 1953 to May 1954, during which she visited 13 countries. 
Here's her at 29 years old with her family of four having fun in 1955 as Prince Philip swung Prince Charles and Prince Anne while Queen Elizabeth looked on, holding her pet corgi. Decade 4, 1956 to 1965. Here she is shaking hands with Marilyn Monroe at a performance in London. At 31, she televised her annual Christmas broadcast for the first time. And here she is posing for a portrait with her husband at Buckingham Palace the very next year. She did not open Parliament this year, one of three times that she did not, as we will see, due to Andrew's birth. The next year, she gave birth to Prince Andrew, 10 years after Princess Anne. This same year, she adopted her own personal flag, which is blue with a gold design featuring her initial E with the royal crown and encircled in roses. It is during this decade that Britain started planning for the Queen's demise under Operation London Bridge. Here she is riding an elephant after a tiger hunt as part of a royal tour in 1961. The second time she didn't open Parliament was this year, owing to Edward's birth. She gave birth to Prince Edward the very next year at the age of 38. During this year, Lyndon Johnson was the U.S. President, the only U.S. President that Queen Elizabeth never got to meet. Decade 5, 1966 to 1975. An avalanche of mud, water, and debris from a coal mine buried an elementary school in the South Wales village of Aberfan, killing 116 children and 28 adults. The Queen delayed her visit and always regretted this decision. Here she takes a ride on the Expo 67 electric train, which at the time was revolutionary as part of her six-day visit to Canada. At 42, she became the first reigning British monarch to visit South America, and the very next year she sent a message to the moon. It read, On behalf of the British people, I salute the skill and courage which have brought man to the moon. She encountered her first assassination attempt when a log was placed on the tracks that her train was supposed to take during a royal tour to Australia in 1970. It never materialized. Here she is leaping ashore during a visit to Turkey in 1971. And here she is with her husband and kids in 1972. On 20th October 1973, she opened the iconic Sydney Opera House. Here she is in 1974 arriving at Aberdeen Airport with her corgis to start her holidays in Balmoral. And here she is meeting film and music icon Barbara Streisand in 1975. Decade 6, 1976 to 1985. At the age of 50, she became the first royal to send an email in March of this year. She sent it using ARPANET. She got her first grandchild on November 15, 1977. This is Princess Anne's firstborn son, Peter Phillips. Here she is seen in 1978, happy under an umbrella, while watching the Royal Windsor Horse Show in 1978. It is said that she had over 100 umbrellas in different colors so that she could properly color coordinate with her outfits. Here she is with the Emir of Bahrain during horse and camel racing in Bahrain in 1979. And at 54, she visited the Vatican for the first time. Another murder attempt was made on the Queen when a 17-year-old bloke fired six bullets at her during this year's Trooping of the Color. In 1982, an intruder managed to break into Buckingham Palace and enter the Queen's bedroom where they are said to have had a 10-minute conversation before she called security. Here she is at Yosemite National Park, California a year later. Here's another mind-blowing picture wherein she arrives through the avenues of guns during the second day of her review of the Royal Regiment of Artillery in Dortmund, Germany. Here, the Queen and proprietor of the Times of London, Rupert Murdoch, look over printing operations as editions of the March 1st issues of the newspaper go to press. Decade 7, 1986 to 1995. At 60, she became the first British monarch to visit China. Along Prince Philip, she spent six days in the country and visited Beijing, Shanghai, the Great Wall of China, and the Forbidden City. Here she is with her grandchildren, Harry and William, at a polo match in Windsor the following year. And here she is alongside Prince Charles, Princess Diana, and Prince Philip 
watching as the royal children play on a fire engine in 1988. She has worn the same nail polish from 1989 to the time of her death, and this was during the Queen's 65th birthday. What's that look on Princess Diana's face? In 91, she was the first British monarch to address the U.S. Congress this year, and referred to 1992 as her Annus Horribilis. It was the year that King Charles III and his wife Diana, Princess of Wales, separated. Prince Andrew and his wife, Sarah, Duchess of York, separated. Anne divorced and a fire gutted the royal residence of Windsor Castle. She voluntarily started paying tax on her income, even though she didn't have to, at the age of 67. On October 17, 1994, Queen Elizabeth II became the first ruling British monarch to set foot on Russian soil. Here she is wearing the imperial state crown at the opening of Parliament in London. Decade 8, 1996 to 2005. Here she is with Nelson Mandela of South Africa at the beginning of his state visit to Britain in 1996. She enjoyed a warm friendship with Mandela, who once joked about her weight on a visit to Buckingham Palace. The next year, she came under sharp criticism after she refused to allow the national flag to fly at half-staff over Buckingham Palace following Diana's death. However, it was eventually flown half-mast on the day of Diana's funeral. She endorsed a plan to end gender discrimination in the line of succession for the throne in 1998, and in 99, her last-born child, Prince Edward, married Sophie Rhys Jones. He is her only child that is still married. She met Pope John Paul II the third time this year after meeting him first in 1980 and second in 1982. She also met Nelson Mandela again this same year. Here, she can be seen wiping a tear from her eyes during a memorial service remembering those who lost their lives during 9-11. At 76, she lost her mother and her sister, which somewhat diminished her Golden Jubilee celebrations. In 2003, the Queen met Vladimir Putin on his only British state visit, where he kept her waiting for 14 minutes. The next year, she hosted Buckingham Palace's first women-only event, dubbed the Women of Achievement, that was attended by the likes of J.K. Rowling and Kate Moss. Her son, Charles III, got married to his longtime lover, Camilla Parker Bowles. Decade 9, 2006-2015 On her 80th birthday, the Queen invited a group of guests who were also turning 80 to Buckingham Palace for a party. She was the first British monarch to celebrate a diamond wedding anniversary in November of this year. In 2008, she attended a state banquet for the now-convicted former French president, Nicolas Sarkozy. She created the Elizabeth Cross to be given to the next of kin of servicemen and women who have given their lives during operations, and the next year, she joined Facebook. In May of this year, she became both the first British monarch to visit the Irish Republic and the first to set foot in Ireland since 1911. At 86, she made a hilarious James Bond cameo that aired during the opening ceremony of London's 2012 Olympic Games. She also celebrated her Diamond Jubilee, marking 60 years on the throne this same year. Her horse, Estimate, won the 2013 Royal Ascot's Gold Cup, making it the first time in history a reigning monarch took home the trophy. And the next year, she visited France for the last time, having visited it 13 times. She actually spoke fluent French. On September 9, 2015, she became the longest reigning monarch in British history after surpassing her great-great-grandmother, Queen Victoria, who reigned for 63 years and 7 months. Her Last Years, 2016 to 2022 from the start of her reign to this year, she had received more than 3.75 million items of correspondence. Here she is pictured feeding an elephant after opening an elephant care center in 2017. She hosted U.S. President Donald Trump, who broke royal protocol by walking in front of the monarch as they inspected a guard of honor, and the next year she published her first Instagram post. At 94, she opened Parliament the 66th time, having opened it every year except the two years we have already seen. She would also not open it two years later in 2022, 
because of episodic mobility issues. During Christmas 2021, someone tried to assassinate her again using a crossbow at Windsor Castle, but got apprehended swiftly. It is the same year that her husband, Prince Philip, departed. At 96, she was the first monarch to have tea with Paddington Bear during her Platinum Jubilee celebrations in 2022, marking the 70th anniversary of her accession to the throne. Click here to see how the Queen escaped five murder attempts. See you there!